have a word to encourage you today. And that is about, for anyone who's kind of in a season of transition, as I am, the Lord really blessed my heart with this revelation. I saw that David's name means beloved. And David's name is spelled with the Hebrew letters that are Dalet, which is a door, Vav, which is nail, and Dalet, which is door. So in his name, there are two doors. And I just felt like, wow, this is kind of like that verse in Revelation 3 where it says, for him who holds the keys of David, and that prayer, that blessing, that he who closes doors, no man can open, and opens doors, no man can shut. This is sort of the stance of the beloved. So if you're finding yourself in the hallway, <laughs> the one who holds the key to the doors, um, if you're in this in-between place, where a door has been shut and you're waiting to a door to be open as I am, am currently, consider yourself beloved of God. And just, um, I want to pray with you right now um, that the Lord who holds the key for his beloved one would open the door at the right time and at the right place for you because he cares for you. And he cares so much that when he says no, it's because he has something better, something that's more suitable for you, something that is appointed for you. And thank God for those closed doors. And while you're in the, in the hallway, um, praise that nail is in the hallway. I felt like that. Wow. The nails joining the two doors is like door, nail, door, right? So door what's joining them is the nail and it's like yeah the hand that was pierced for us is why we can lift our hands because he was stuck for us willingly to the cross willingly stayed in everything that would have been death to us we are free to go and we're free to lift our hands in this place of waiting in the hallway and <laughs> praising him waiting for the door to open because we know what's closed is for our good and what opens will be for our good and in the meantime we do have his hand upon our lives his nail pierced hand it's not even scarred. You know, when he's sitting on the throne in Revelation, he's there freshly slain. It's a pierced hand. That nail is fresh in his hand and his hand is upon you. So let's just pray together. Lord, thank you so much for your love for us. Thank you that as your beloved ones, we can acknowledge and place afresh the key to our hearts, the key to our lives in your hand. You hold the key for your beloved one. You hold the key of David. And we pray, Lord, you would close every door that needs to be shut, that no man could open it, even if we try or we want to go through it, or if someone else would want to come through it. Lord, what you shut is shut um, for, for its time, for its purpose. And we thank you for the doors that are closed that no one can open. And we praise you also, Lord, that you open doors no man can shut. And so I just pray for anyone who's in the hallway, as I am right now, that a praise would arise on the inside of them, that they would just feel so cared for and loved that not just any door will do, but that you want to keep closed the things that are past and you want to open to them things that are so clearly of you, so wide open, so God appointed, so divine, so wonderful that there's no denying it's of you and that no man can stop what you have planned for those who you love and who are called according to your purpose. So I bless my brothers and my sisters watching this, anyone who's waiting, anyone who's starting this new year in a period of transition and in need of your leading and lead of your guardianship and lead of your shepherding. Lord, we thank you that you keep closed what needs to be closed and you will open at the right time. And, and right now we have your hand upon us, your nail pierced hand upon us, Lord. Thank you for being stuck so that we can be free to lift our hands, free to trust you, free to worship you. We are sim in every way, we are free, free to stay, free to go, free to wait on you without condemnation, Lord, from anyone looking on. And we praise you that as your beloved ones, you will open the right door at the right time in Jesus name. Amen.